Hello viewers, this is Revealing Light Tarot. Uh, I wanted to read on a couple of things today. As you will have seen from the media reports, um, the, Donald Trump is saying that he's going to now pull out of a uh, treaty, a nuclear missile treaty with Russia. Uh, and he's been very provocative, saying that if countries want to build up their nuclear arsenals, uh, then America will too. So previous uh, regimes, particularly Ronald, the, in the era of Reagan, um, the world was very concerned about the build-up of nuclear power and the potential for nuclear war. Uh, the uh, regressive step is now, is now being taken by Trump, uh, who basically says, we'll build our arsenal and anybody who wants to play that game will be the leader. Okay, so that's really equating to a an arms race. So, you know, that that's, I guess, one, one thing I want to look at. The other thing I want to look at is, has money changed hands? Because I think... I think some of these things that Trump comes out with are, uh, you know, I think they're, they're all um, aimed at a specific agenda, achieving a specific agenda. So I, I guess the question that I want to ask, um, you know, alternatively to the arms race, to go a bit deeper, I want to ask if uh, there actually is money changing hands, you know? Are the, Saudi, uh, the Saudis actually... Uh, paying a Trump and Kushner in any way. Um, you know, is there, behind all this arms race rhetoric, I guess, uh, is, is money changing hands? Are we, are we, are we looking at deals um, that, that are motivating this current presidency? Monetary deals, monetary gain, perhaps gain for um, personal... Uh, personal profit, gains for, um, you know, profit for other allies, you know, what is fueling all this talk? So the first question will be, are we now entering an era of, of, of an arms race? Will other powers now begin to build their nuclear arsenal? Are we now in a nuclear, a nuclear arms race? Okay. All right. So we've got the card of loss, loss and and sorrow, um, the three of swords, heartbreak, um, yeah, and and divorce. So it's 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 again aiming at fracturing these relationships that have kept the world stable, um, and this is where someone like Donald Trump threatens threatens us in Australia, threatens all the world really, uh, with this. Um, I guess this um, agenda of his to create chaos, and you know, again, I'm suggesting that there's a deeper agenda, um, and it, it may well have to do with money and allies and deals and agendas that have already been predetermined. So the Knight of Swords, this is the soldier coming into battle, and that's what's crossing Donald Trump and the this, um, I guess the way he's conducting himself at the at the moment it seems to me there are there are an, there is enough opposition there is someone or there are many i guess this could represent the midterms it could represent Mueller, but there are there is enough sanity prevailing that that will come in and um and try and stop this agenda of his um and at the uh, basis of this reading, and you'll notice we're pulling a lot of swords, and this is, um, you know, being bound and encircled, um, encircled by restriction, um, and being, uh, you know, blindfolded, not able to move forward, not able to really move out of that, um, of that position. Now, is this Trump in the mid after the midterms? I'm not sure. Let's just leave that card. Or is this us at the moment um, and the impact of, of Trump or the world? Is, you know, is the world feeling bound by his actions? Um, in the past, we've got hope. So that would suggest uh, that would suggest to me that this indeed will... The I mean, this position is the focus of the reading. And this is suggesting now with hope in the past, which is creating this momentum, that this indeed uh, could be... could represent Donald Trump. 
But let's uh, let's keep moving forward and see what we what we pull. So the Eight of Pentacles is about uh, legacies and leaving a um, you know working hard for the future. So again, this suggests to me that there that his uh, these agendas, these new nuclear arms races, may not really come come to pass because there is this um, this. I guess way this this uh, you know this truth this um, you know I guess a sanity is coming forward um, to uh, to try and prevent loss in the future, and then we have the card in the future of uh, illusion and um, again abuse of power. So you know this is a mixed reading. Because there is going to be abuse of power in the in the future, so nothing is is totally black and white with this um, with with this president at all. Um, you know, it would appear that there are uh, forces coming to try and stop uh, this uh, to stop him um, doing too much damage. Uh, but there is this card of illusions. Now, I'm just looking at this, and this is what I'm thinking Trump is doing. This is this is representing what he's trying to do. I might just clarify that. He is trying to create illusions. He's trying to... He's using these things, like a nuclear arms race, at this point in time to create some sort of illusion. We've got Seven of Cups being too many choices issues and abuse of power okay right so this this is suggesting that this uh, these things are being done in front of the um, the midterms to embolden his base um, but the thing is he's playing around globally in areas that uh, that really could have a devastating impact on the world generally um, gosh Please, I'm, I'm imploring you all, get out and vote and vote against him in the midterm. So, um, okay, will this impact, uh, will other countries now now try and build nuclear arsenal, their nuclear arsenals in response to him, what he's said? Yeah, okay, this is the card of the long t longer term security and fear of change um, and you can see this the uh, focal point of this card is someone holding on to to their money holding on to their security because they want to create um, they want to create long longer term security so um, this would then suggest that these countries in response to uh, what Donald Trump has come out and um, said about, you know, America building their nuclear arsenal will follow suit. So he is having an impact. Um, this delusional card, this this illusions, these things, these games. Well, they're not just games. They're very, very serious, um, serious, you know, threats. Okay, and these ther serious threats that he's making are actually having an impact globally as other countries will now now start to build their arsenals. So you can see why the midterms and why 2020 is so important globally. Um, really, I can't understand, understate that, that... You know this. The, you know this night of truth. This this um, this surge of sanity needs to come out and stop Donald Trump in his tracks. Whether that is in the midterms, as uh, as many readers and astrologists have suggested, there's going to be a blue wave. I, you know, look, these cards have suggested there will be a wave, but also to be a wave of support and uh, voters, strong voter turnout. But it's also suggesting watch the magician, watch the trickster, watch Trump, watch the Republicans. Uh, so, you know, again, um, it's a very critical time leading up to the midterms. Now, <clears throat> I wanted the second part of this reading was I wanted to ask if Donald Trump is taking kickbacks, if Trump and Kushner 
have aligned and their allies are actually oh that didn't go very well these cards are so new it's very hard to shuffle them so um if they're actually taking kickbacks i mean did kush is could has kushner taken a kickback from the saudis has trump taken a kickback from the saudis you know are those that manufacture arms have, have they uh you know we had cohen taking money a lot you know for for influence influencing policy is this how this president presidency has been conducted so the question we need to ask is is donald trump and jared kushner and the trump organization benef benefiting financially from the presidency I think, you know, I think that, there, you know, in relation to the Saudis, there are other, you know, long-standing business ties there. Um, and particularly with Kushner, when they bought uh, that building of his when he was uh, really in financial peril. Because I'm getting an image of, of a veiled woman coming forward with a gift. Um, let's see. Is Kushner Trump Trump Organization benefiting financially from this presidency? All right, let's see. Okay, so we have the page of wands, um, which of course is new new projects, new ideas, new income sources. Um, this is uh, this is you know generally a card of inspiration and inspiration to achieve goals so we'll let that sit there for a moment and see what see how that pans out it could represent that uh they thought at the beginning of this presidency there were opportunities for fan personal financial gain the knight of wands um you know again is uh this um coming forward with um you know uh, i guess again this 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 inspiration creativity this passion and coming forward fairly freely to do so we'll let that sit at the moment two you know two cards two wands which is new new ideas and new uh new approaches it could well be that 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 is kushner trump the trump organization at the beginning of the pre pres uh, presidency and what is the focus of this reading material greed Okay, I had someone comment that this devil card, I should just, um, no, I'll, I'll leave this till the end of the reading, we won't interrupt the flow. The devil card is, is being chained to materialism and greed, okay, that is in the position which denotes the focus of this reading, okay, so it seems, well, I'll, I'll wait till we draw the cards and then I'll, I'll have another look. So the six of cups in the past, um, is is uh, is around nostalgia and gifts um gifts coming forward so it's looking like that trump organization and trump uh and kushner approach this presidency with these ideas in mind with this inspiration in mind to enrich to somehow gain financially and it was it was greed financial uh considerations at the beginning of this presidency that led them that led them to into this situation uh, they wanted to benefit i think the cards are saying they wanted to benefit from the presidency financially the moon the secrets that they are hiding this this is again another illusionary card where you have the scorpion coming out of the sea and you you know you can see the um the artwork in this card it's very dark and very mysterious and very murky um the moon in itself is you know can sometimes shine a light in darkness but in this sense it's almost like these secrets are being hidden um by the moon um wow okay and then we've got the ten of swords which is indicating an ending of this financial gain coming up pretty soon in the future okay so the ten of swords is telling us it is the card of complete and painful endings okay so uh it is suggesting rock bottom for trump and kushner is coming in the future so these two readings, I won't go any further, but these two readings I think are pretty important 
that first reading on the nuclear arms race is again suggesting pre predetermined agendas around this, but it is having an impact globally. It's very destructive globally. Um, but we have the Knight of Swords. Remember in that first reading was coming as a barrier. It was crossing Donald Trump's attempts um, to, uh, to, to, I guess, create these illusions and this, this, this smoke screen to hide the other, you know, the, the kind of deeper agendas. This second reading, I did this to, to, to deepen the first reading. And look, it really, th these cards really are suggesting that, that, that Trump and Kushner, or let's just say Trump, um, and indeed, I guess his, his uh, offsider, Jared Kushner, the Trump family came into this, approached this presidency with the ideas and the inspiration that they would gain financially um, from the presidency, what, what um, of course, there would have been other readings as well, uh, because you know, as we know, Trump is uh, is very narcissistic, and um, you know, he likes the attention. However, the devil is very much being chained to to greed and materialism in this sense. Uh, and, you know, this is, as I said, the card of gifts and, and nostalgia and, you know, often associated with families. Um, this is the way they've always done business, so this is nothing new for them. Um, and secrets, uh, secrets being hidden, um, you know, uh, but it, it would seem that there is a complete and painful ending um, you know, you don't get much worse than the Ten of Swords, and and that's that's in the future, and that's coming uh, for uh, both Kushner and Trump. There is going to be a complete and painful ending for them. Um, I'm very tempted to uh, continue this reading and ask if if this will come out in the Mueller investigation or sub, or maybe subsequent um, congressional investigations. Let's just have a quick look. Um, Will the way Donald Trump has conducted the presidency, particularly in relation to potential uh, or alleged financial gain, will that be investigated when Congress is in the hands of the Democrats or will it indeed come out in the Mueller investigation? We have had Cohen flip uh, you know, he was very much involved in the go-between with, with money. Um, will this financial gain of Trump and Kushner's come out in investigations, whether that be Mueller or congressional investigations in the future? Will he be... Will these secrets be unmasked? OK, let's have a look. Right, OK, the chariot. Things happening very, very quickly. Uh, OK, so action is coming down the pipeline, which is suggesting this might come out in Mueller's, in the Mueller probe. The Ace of Wands, um, OK, you know, this is the card of, as I said, wands are often associated with, create, you know, the, these new projects, these this inspiration. There is a lot of inspiration to unmask uh, what is currently happening with the pre presidency. This is, um, I guess... Uh, you know, this innovation being brought to, uh, this innovation, this, um, I guess, um, I mean, it, you know, that I, I, th I would think that, I mean, this is seeming to suggest it is the Mueller probe that is going to be unmasking some of this. And it seems to me that they've, behind the scenes, have had to be very, very um, innovative, I guess, in a way to try and get round the roadblocks that have been in front of them. That's interesting. Um, the Six of Pentacles, the focus of this reading, loans and gifts, okay, that will be the subject of the uh, investigation. The Six of Pentacles is all, is all about uh, giving and receiving help, loans or debt. Loans or debt. Interesting. This card is in the position of the focus of the reading. Okay. Okay. It seems to me in the past eight of cups, there's been some sort of loss happening. Um, it's an abandonment. It's a withdrawal and a retreat. Um, now, that, that 
could be pointing to the fact that uh, up until now uh, we've had um, you know the Republicans holding the power and uh, that we there, there hasn't been uh, this investigations uh, there has you know it's it's taking some time for this to come through um, could also be the reasons why uh, there's this these loans and debts are uh, are a factor in this in in the investigations so it could be that um, Mueller uh, because I think this is pointing to a Mueller investigation that that will uncover the losses in the past that have led to these loans and debt okay the eight of swords again is this card of um, uh, restriction isolation it is the card of imprisonment okay so we're looking at possible imprisonment for um, for uh, so you know for 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 those involved let's just say those involved possible imprisonment okay and the ten of swords complete and painful endings all right this has been quite an interesting session viewers really for me um, I'm I, I'm just going to leave the readings there because this was the card of complete and painful endings for uh, for uh, Donald Trump in the previous um, uh, in the previous reading this is pointing to complete and painful endings for, for those that are um, you know financial you know gaining financially that that the these the investigations will in in, in fact lead to uh, um, imprisonment for some some those involved who are gaining financially or are using the uh, presidency in some way now to enrich themselves. Okay, so a lot of interesting cards coming through there. Gosh, you know, I hope I hope that the that the what these cards are indicating comes to pass. Um, but um, you know, let's just have a word of caution here. Okay, the four of cups is loss on the bottom of the pack, uh, loss suggesting loss for Trump and uh, and and Co. Um, but as I said, these cards are a guide. You know, it's very easy to, when you see these type of cards emerging to, you know, get quite, you know, excited because it is a dark time. It's a dark time in, in the history of the US. It's also uh, potentially a, a fairly unsettled time globally for us all. Um, you know, these readings are, uh, are for guidance only. Um, so I want to put that, uh, that caution out there that... Um, you know, we draw the cards, and 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 you can't. The cards are what they what they what they are. So let's just say that these cards are indicating that in the future, that the investigate Mueller investigation will unearth these loans and debts. Uh, it could lead to imprisonment for those that have uh, enriched themselves um, through the presidency. It certainly, in in two readings, has suggested a complete and painful ending for Donald Trump. So we'll leave it there. I just wanted to, uh, someone has commented on my Arcanum deck. Uh, I'm really enjoying using it. The artists are Low Scar uh, Scarabie uh, Scarabio, um, which are the foremost um, tarot card artists globally. That's why I chose them for the beautiful artwork. The very talented artists um, who are who are illustrating these cards. There we have Donald Trump again. <laughs> Okay, I'll close it down there. I hope you've enjoyed the reading, viewers. I certainly enjoy reading for you. Um, I'm, I'm heading back home now after visiting my sister. I have had a beautiful time in the outback. My sister's unwell, that's why I'm here. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll. I'll look forward to uh, reading for you when I get back home. Thank you, viewers.